Okay, bye bye. Scuba. This is the English word I want to get tattooed on my wrist. It means to keep breathing even though the water rises all around you. English is such a mystical, exotic language. They can fit so much meaning into so small a word. Well, he's not wrong. You know, I can handcuff newborns to show how the law works at an early age so they don't commit crimes. So I got fired today. It's funny how straight men are often intimidated by butchers when really femmes are the scariest lesbians. Butchers will maybe throw a punch at you after telling you to back off a few times, while femmes will downright stick a heel in your eye. It's a common misconception that butchers protect their femmes from other people. In reality, they are protecting other people from the femmes. How dare you hide this in the tags? Concept. Cowboy hat with cat ears. So, you're just gonna scroll past without saying meowdy. Studio Ghibli once threatened a localization team by mailing them a katana because of how heavily edited Valley of the Wind was in the US. Dissatisfied with Warriors of the Wind, Miyazaki adopted a strict no-edits clause for further foreign releases of Studio Ghibli films. On hearing Miramax co-chairman Horrible Person Weinstein would attempt to edit Princess Mononoke to make it more marketable, Toshio Suzuki sent an authentic katana with a simple message. No. Cuts. I aspire to be this ride or die for my works. Suddenly you're 21, and you're screaming along in your car to all the songs you used to listen to when you were sad in middle school. And everything is different, but everything is good. Man, this post keeps me going. Writing prompt. Your phone suddenly receives an emergency alert that tells you to seek shelter immediately. Your pet slowly walks up to you, looks you dead in the eye, and says, The time has come. Follow me. Man, I have like a fish. Where the fuck are you gonna take me? The back corner of your tank? The Shape of Water, 2017. I hate this whole backlash, like, you say touch star, but you actually mean horny. No! I mean, when I was getting my hair cut, there was a moment where the hairdresser tilted my head to the side, and the top of my head brushed his chest, and my brain short-circuited with endorphins because it thought I was being held. That kind of touch starved. Hey, Seymour! Did you know that Michaela Lodge did a stream of playing Yandere Simulator with the voice of Budo? It's really hilarious, highly suggest. <sighs> Who's gonna tell them? I have no idea what I'm missing here, but I have a feeling it's hilarious. Well, what username where? The person Michaela Laws was streaming with that day was me. I am the voice of Budo. And they didn't know. Throwback to 2016 when I told my sister they're making another planet Earth and she was just like raising an eyebrow and said in this absolutely deadpan condescending tone, well, where are they getting the dirt for it? And I had to specify I meant planet Earth, the nature documentary, not the celestial body. Yeah, well, I think dragons suck. I will kick your ass so hard, your vertebrae will pop out of your mouth one by one like a Pez dispenser. Day one of me asking how Doofenshmirtz found out Perry's name when Perry doesn't speak. He was sent an email by OWCA when Perry was first assigned. Guys, I found a porn lore on TikTok of all places! OWCA deadass said Yo Hides for sending a platypus to kick your ass. His name is Perry XOXO later. That's probably the most Phineas and Ferb joke ever. To all the content creators out there, how do you overcome the feeling that what you are creating is cringy? Start doing it on purpose and it slowly becomes unironic. This comment is too powerful. And how dare you figure out my secrets? Shame on you. Petition to change, thanks I hate it too, I appreciate this. Imagine biting into a steak and there being a hot pop tart in there. How do you, how do you even come up with this stuff? Personal experience. Just imagining. Just sitting late at night, eating a steak, and you have to shout the words, HOLY SHIT A POP TART! Tumblr is so awful. You have all these people making up obviously fake stories for attention, and no one pays any mind to the real heroes like me who beat up a volcano. Why is nobody talking about this? I'm crying because my friend just pointed out that this werewolf has a daughter with the red hood. Fire emblem, you cheeky little scoundrels, you! Someone, do you mind if I say something off topic? Me and ADHD gremlin. I've never been on topic in my life. Please, continue. Take your anxiety meds with Red Bull to create Slowfast. The hot new emotion teens are raving about. Slowfast. It feels incredibly bad. But wouldn't they just cancel each other out? <laughs> no. They are both working so very much, and I cannot stop it. Any outfit is unisex if it's bizarre enough. Leave people too confused to question your gender. You can't. 
just leave this in the tags, God. Yoink is the opposite of yeet. But it's just as fast. The Lord yeeteth and the Lord yoinketh away. Well, there's my eulogy sorted. Went out for a Chinese meal with my family last night. At the end of the night, I was looking through the bill and found this. It's worth mentioning at this point, I told the staff I have a severe seafood allergy. No, <laughs> no fucking shrimp or you die. Now this is what I call responsible restaurant service. Well done. Dropped a small potato and started crying. How's everyone else doing tonight? I'm on floor. Putting Hamilton on shovel is risky because a soft song like Dear Theodosia will end and suddenly there's deafening gunshot and you'll jump and be all lead do you yield much like the phoenix a new dad shall rise from the sawdust her bone writing prompt you have the ability to freeze time and explore the world while it's frozen as far as you know no one else has this power one day while you're wandering through your frozen school you notice that someone is following you yeah it's called a shadow you think you're clever huh fuck you god you made writing prompt cry my brain is sad because i miss my girlfriend but I don't have a girlfriend. I never dated anyone, and I'm almost crying. Hello? It's called yearning. Oh. Go, my son, Balsamic Vinegar Jr. Watch him turn into a supervillain. This in implies this implies this implies that your name is Balsamic Vinegar. The law allows me to be whoever I damn please. Why do you both sound like Dragon Ball Z villains then? After a freak accident at the Bible warehouse, the only surviving record of Christianity. Is Neon Genesis Evangelion? God damn it, Jesus! Get in the fucking robot! I like to dip my cookies in Mountain Dew because it gives them an ever so tasty tangy flavor if left in there for the right amount of time. Well, this has become a candidate for my least favorite post! I have an idea. Tinder. But you find yourself an arch nemesis. Ooh. I love it when pets fall asleep on me because I can't ask anyone to do anything for me. I'm sorry, I can't get up. I've been chosen! Okay, just a heads up. If theoretically, your therapist tells you that they're going to try and get you tested for yet another mental disorder, saying, wow, am I gonna get a full bingo card? Is not an appropriate response. And also, theoretically, neither is, this just seems like so many. Am, am I allowed to have all of these? <sighs> you did that, didn't you? C2 for anxiety, B2 for depression, A2 for ADHD. Hey, look at that, I won! Not so fast! I have A2, B2, C2, and I also have B1 for depersonalization disorder and B3 for critical imposter syndrome. And not to mention that earlier, I had A1 anorexia blotted, but that ink had faded now. <gasps> Beat that! They can't, can you? Please don't romanticize mental illnesses. This is a joke, but I'd rather not have any of these. Thank you. Remember when Dexter ate a giant burrito and thought he was going to die, but it turned out he just had to fart? I mean, haven't we all been there? I certainly have. <laughs> Either people with ADHD need to stop being so relatable, or I need to go see a doctor. And I don't want to go see a doctor. Now, I'm not jumping to any conclusions, but... Oh my god. Hearing the John Mulaney, do my friends hate me or do I just need to go to sleep bit is like the best thing to have happen for my mental health. Because every time I'm afraid my friends hate me, it's around the time I should be going the fuck to sleep. I read somewhere, if you feel like everyone hates you, you need to sleep. And if you feel like you hate everyone else, you need to eat. And it was honestly world shattering. And I wish I heard it years ago. Same. Given the common threads between things people on this website are inexplicably attracted to, pinstripe bow ties, really thin literal skeletons, I present to you the husband for everyone. This person is busy. <laughs> I'm sorry, but do you fucking mind? D&D Handbook. Half-orcs? Evil. Every half-orc PC. He has huge muscles so he can hug his friends real tight. The D&D Handbook. Tieflings. More evil. Every tiefling PC. Gay party animal and a crop top and heels. The D&D Handbook. Drow. Extremely evil. Every drow PC. Drama thirsty fashion forward goth. D&D Pathfinder Handbook. Goblins. Unrepentantly evil every goblin pc chaotic good hungry child facts we need a more realistic dnd handbook panera you had no right to take your broccoli cheddar soup mix it into your mac and cheese and tell me i can't order 20 bowls of them one time i used my retail voice on a co-worker and she was like don't use your customer voice on me i know you're dead inside like the rest of us it's just frightening and weird 
The other day I asked for a table for two in my customer voice, and the waitress squinted at me, and I cleared my throat and said, <clears throat> sorry, was still in service mode. And she dropped hers. And we swapped stories about our day, and my boyfriend was like, you two just became two entirely different people in .5 seconds. I can be bitching up a blue streak about a customer from hell while the store is empty. And when the phone rings, swap over to my retail voice practically in mid-sentence. I even have managers and salespeople from other stores and chains fooled into thinking I'm infinitely friendly and helpful. And my manager's husband thinks I'm one of the most professional people in the store. One assistant manager's daughter dubbed me Perky Pants because she's dealt with me over the phone and was shocked to the core when I dropped an F-bomb at her graduation picnic. The acting required in the service industry is beyond the pale. My cousin freaked when she came to see me at work because I was smiling and nice while helping someone who was asking insane questions and who basically forced me to walk them to the product and put it in their fucking hand, but I was nice as pie until I turned around to walk away and my demeanor changed back to normal and I muttered, what a fucking moron, under my breath as I got back to my cousin. She just looked at me, shocked, and said, No wonder you're so exhausted when you get home. This is actually referred to as emotional labor in criminology, and is considered one of the hardest forms of labor. The art of bullshit is strong in the service industry. It certainly is. And I never want to go back. I usually wear these headphones that have wires connected to them, but they're still Bluetooth, and it's nice. But then I got these that are Bluetooth without any wires, and they're amazing. They kind of look like hearing aids if you don't know anything, and I think it's cool. They're really nice and slick and sound so well. So I flipped my hair and didn't realize the headphone glass was tangled in my hair, and it came out and fell into the toilet. Rip. Someone had fire emblem. Only the goddess knows. Sothis, her mouthful of Doritos. Fuck you, Ariel, oh shit! Final Fantasy in a nutshell. Final Fantasy 1. Four heroes break a time loop. Final Fantasy 2. Star Wars where the Emperor dies and then comes back as the devil and then dies again then comes back as a god and then gets killed by Obi-Wan. Final Fantasy 3. Four orphans fight a man who threw a hissy fit over his inheritance. Final Fantasy 4. Star Wars but the Emperor is a space ghost on the moon. Final Fantasy 5. Evil Giving Tree and his gay lover fight a confused harem protagonist and his princesses. Final Fantasy VI, Star Wars, but the Emperor is killed and replaced by the Joker halfway through. Also, racism is bad. Final Fantasy VII, eco-terrorist recruit man with padded resume, discover corporate greed has caused a giant meteor to be elected, and they hold a recount. Final Fantasy VIII, a group of cadets find out they all lived at the same orphanage, amnesia to blame, and the lead may be dead. Final Fantasy IX, Star Wars, but the main characters are either clones or princesses. Also, Vivi is best boy. Final Fantasy X, Daddy Issues, The Real Sports Story, with special guest Christian Guilt Complex. Final Fantasy XI, Giraffe and Friends Stop the Writers from Erasing the Game. Final Fantasy XII, Star Wars, but half the bad guys aren't actually that bad. Except Judge Bergen, that guy's a dick. Final Fantasy XIII, Being the Chosen One Will Kill Your Dating Life. Final Fantasy XIV, Heroes Save the World from Bad Gameplay and Bugs. And Final Fantasy XV. A bachelor party goes very, very badly. Well, I see versus what the cat sees before I pet it. The associate the stance with love. Fear it. New cryptid. Exhausted woman at Starbucks. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. What can I get you today? How much is it to fill a venti with espresso? Uh, I'm sorry? A venti cup. How much to fill it with espresso? Oh, uh, well, it'd be, I suppose, to, I... I, I only have a button for a quad. I don't have special pricing for like 20 ounces of espresso in a single drink. Press is the furthest thing from my mind right now. How many headshots is that? It, it, it'd be a quad with <clears throat> uh, 16 additional shots. Help me. The rules to learning English. There are no rules. I see what you did there. My eyes are burning. No, 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 no. It's I see what you did there, not what. Do it right. Oh, I do it right, but I do not want to. I hate everything about this. Oh my god, he's turning the tiles brown. He needs to be contained. <gasps> it's an SCP. Fools. This was a white goat. You can see the white markings on him. He's been soaking up the brown and he's only got one square left. Let him finish his work. <sighs> he's stealing the brown. Rich people are like so easily convinced about ghosts. I remember growing up, it was near like this vacant lot. And whenever I broke a toy, instead of like going to face the wrath of my mother, I would just fucking bury it in that lot. And then sure enough, 
Some dude tried to develop the land and found a ton of bird rotten dolls and shit and told everyone it was haunted. It's been over a decade, and that lot is still vacant. You single-handedly take the value of someone's prime real estate, and that makes me happy. As soon as I read this, I immediately started thinking of ways to do this on purpose to get cheap land, and I was five posts down my dash before I realized I was becoming a Scooby-Doo villain. Shit. You know, the kids these days will never know who the struggle. And this is not an exaggeration. Your download speed would slow down to the point where Windows would make this kind of absurd estimate. And you just sigh, like, leave the room for a while. Because you couldn't use your computer while I was doing this for fear it would crash and lose all your progress. And then you come back for like 40 minutes and maybe it would say like 52 years. Or maybe it would say 3 minutes. So no, not fucking Windows. I'm gonna just say it. The sands is like Perry the Platypus at this point. A skeleton? One pupil glows blue. Sands the skeleton! Hey guys, check it out. Spinning a vinyl record so fast that it shatters. Wow, that was record breaking speed. <laughs> God damn it. Wait, no, this is the rock dystopia future. We were about to be gay outlaws in a nuclear desert. Give it a few weeks. Hey, does anyone remember that time when, like, all the Unova gym leaders gathered to take down Team Plasma with their Pokemon? Bryson opted for hand-to-hand -hand combat instead? I mean, I would too if my Pokemon was Cryogonal. <laughs> guys, guys. I want a live-action B-movie, but instead of adapting the animated movie, I want it to be 90 minutes of Jerry Seinfeld harassing random people in a dollar store B costume. <laughs> I would watch that movie in a heartbeat. Oh, you have ADHD? Name one... Name one... Uh, what was it? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Wait, right, 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 right. It was, uh, name one time you handled criticism without crying. Okay, you listen here, you little shit. How dare you? Yo, nothing shows the face of pain like that one picture of Elmo crammed in a jar full of pickle juice. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Pickle me, Elmo. The period in like the mid 20th century where the middle class suddenly had access to unprecedented food variety, but like no idea what to do with it, and they ended up inventing hundreds of doomed dishes like lime cheese jello salad or ham and banana hollandaise is thematically akin to the Cambrian explosion. The end of this post punched me in the face, but god damn it, you're not wrong. Oh, not elegant enough to be a vampire, but not jock enough to be a werewolf. It is. <laughs> and now Big the Cat, but he's a sophisticated gentleman. Enjoy. I seem to have a minor wound inflicted upon myself. It's quite uncharitable to oppress my comrades. Something is nipping on the line! I'm certain it was a misfortunate action upon their part. I have come down with a case of the color we associate as sad. I mayhaps have a proposal. A assembled embrace, perhaps? My dearest friend Frogboat, where have you gone? I am contractually obligated to go hastily, 